Now, let's get started with a review of important milestones in human development. Let's begin with APGAR scores. APGAR scores are point scores given to every newborn infant at 1 and 5 minutes after birth. The newborns are evaluated in five different categories and given 0 to 2 points per category. A score of 10 points total is a perfect score. The categories and point scores given for each are Appearance A blue appearance is given 0 points while a pink trunk and limbs receive 2 points. Pulse No pulse receives no points while a pulse of greater than 100 per minute receives a score of 2. Grimace or response to stimulation. No response receives no points, while a positive response with pulling away from the stimulus receives the full two points. Activity. Zero activity receives zero points. Mild activity receives one point, and an active child receives two. Finally is respiration. No respiration receives no points, while a strong and regular respiration receives the full two points. There are a number of milestones that are evaluated in infants to assess their normal development. From birth to three months, the rooting reflex is present. At three months, the infant should be able to hold its head up and smile socially. At four to five months, the infant should roll from front to back, sit when positioned, and demonstrate facial recognition. At seven to nine months, the infant should sit on its own, crawl, recognize voice, and have stranger anxiety. At 12 to 14 months, the upgoing Babinski reflex should no longer be present. And at 15 months, the infant should be walking, speak a few words, and demonstrate stranger anxiety. Similarly, there are a number of milestones that are evaluated in toddlers to assess for normal development. At 12 to 24 months, the toddler should be able to go upstairs, stack three blocks, and speak two-word sentences by the age of two. At 18 to 24 months, the toddler should be able to stack six blocks and realize reproachment or their relationship with others. At 24 to 36 months, the toddler should realize his or her own core gender identity. And at 24 to 48 months, the toddler should demonstrate parallel play with other children. There are also a number of milestones that are evaluated in preschoolers to assess for normal development. At 30 to 36 months, the preschooler should be able to stack nine blocks and should be toilet trained. The mnemonic is P at 3. At three years, the preschooler should be able to ride a tricycle with the mnemonic of a three-wheeler at three years, should be able to copy line or circle drawings and speak in complete sentences. At four years, the preschooler should be able to hop on one foot, draw simple stick figure drawings, participate in cooperative play, 
and brush their own teeth. Milestones for school-age children from the ages of 6 to 11 years include the ability to read, having same-sex friends, and identifying with their same-sex parent, having an understanding of death, and the development of conscience. For adolescence, which occurs at approximately 11 years of age in girls and 13 years of age in boys, the milestones include abstract reasoning and formation of personality. The Tanner stages of sexual development are measured with a numbered scale that evaluates pubic hair, male genitalia, and female breasts in the developing adolescent and young adult. In stage one, no pubic hair or changes in genitalia and breasts are evident. In stage two, soft pubic hair begins to develop, the testes enlarge in boys, and breast tissue elevation begins in girls. At stage three, pubic hair fills in and becomes coarse and curly, the penis grows in size and length in boys, and breast tissue begins to extend beyond the areola in girls. At stage four, the penis widens as the scrotum enlarges and darkens in boys, and breast tissue continues to develop with a raised areola in girls. Finally, at stage five, male and female adult sexual characteristics are present. In summary, a number of important developmental milestones are evaluated throughout growth, from infancy through to adolescence and early adulthood, in order to assess for normal development. Now let's test your understanding of the material with a clinical challenge question. A normal developing infant can roll from front to back and recognizes its mother's face, but cannot sit on its own or distinguish strangers. How old is this normal infant? Is the infant less than three months? Three months four to five months, six months, or seven to nine months old. The answer is C, four to five months. At four to five months, an infant should roll from front to back, sit when positioned, and have facial recognition.